most of us come into recovery saying, you know, I had abusive parents. I was abused as a child. I said that. I can't read and write. I'm stupid. I said that too. My father was never there. My mother was emotionally unavailable by no fault of her own. And I can't read and write. And the school teachers all treated me like garbage. And I was a terrible victim of other people's doings to me when I was younger. And then I became an alcoholic. And you know, if you were ma me and you had my difficulties, you too would be an alcoholic. You'd be kind of lucky even to survive it. If it wasn't for the booze, I wouldn't even be here. But then it comes a time where the alcohol cuts us down at our knees. It takes us out. And we say to ourselves, you know, maybe there is a drinking problem. Maybe I have a little bit of difficulties and I'll go and try out the program. And we go in the program and we do something that everybody does. We come in with a closed mind because we blame other people and we have reasons we all drank. No one knows our problems. No one understands us. Having an open mind just simply means this, that your way never worked and maybe there's another way of doing it, of living your life without the use and abuse of alcohol or for me, drugs, and there's a better life. And not understanding it, having a, having a complete, complete, utter faith-based experience saying that my way didn't work, I need help, and if I don't get it, I know where I'm going, right to the dump, right to the dump. That's all it means, having an open mind. It doesn't mean anything else. You know, if you wanna go through life drinking and harping on your problems and on your difficulties in life and blaming people and pointing your finger, those oh, fuckers did this to me, you can do that. But I'm gonna tell you something. When you get older, like my age, like in the 60s, and you wanna be free from alcohol and drugs, you need to get an open mind, guys and gals. You need to get an open mind. But an open mind doesn't mean you need to know what's going on. An open mind just simply means that your way didn't work, okay? We need to stop the self-destructive behavior. We need to stop thinking that we are an island and the only way to do it is on our own resources. We've tried that, right? We've tried that. And even in sobriety, we've tried that and it doesn't work. A lot of black flies today and it doesn't work. So that's my spin on it. You know, sobriety is not a battle. You get up in the morning, you just kind of like, I'm going for it, I'm fighting, it's a big struggle. It's not about that. So try it, just have an open mind. Let's find somebody you trust, find a home group that you trust, maybe a therapist that you trust. Just have an open mind that maybe their way is a little better than yours. Maybe turning your will and your life over to the care of God is a little bit better it's not so crazy, it's just a little bit better than the way you're leading your life. The world is your oyster, people. Open mind, move forward, ask for help, take action, and just take it one day at a time and understand that it's not all gonna be roses every day. But I'm gonna tell you, there'll be a lot more roses than there will be well, clouds. <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to you later, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe? Can you take another second and hit that like button? I'd really appreciate it, okay? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.